Hey guys and girls and welcome back to my channel. This is today's look if you can't already tell. Um, let me go through this look with you. I also want to show you quickly my actual makeup setup so you can see how and why and the kind of like reasons behind I have everything set up. But just yeah, just so you can see how crazy my makeup table is. So yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Here's a look at my crazy table. Okay, so as you can see, this is where the magic happens. Um, that's my ring light, generally where that is. Um, that's where the camera sits. So as you can see, I have brushes, lashes, cleaning equipment, extra tools, lip stuff, this is all the foundations. This is concealers and eye primers. This is everything to do with eye eyebrows, I should say, sorry. Eyebrows and eyeliner, mostly eyebrows. Um, this is all mascara, a couple of extra different eyeshadow palettes. Uh, you've got eyebrow stuff. This is all my bronzer, blush, contour, everything. Primers and setting sprays, free sponges. That's by Napoleon Perda set. There's just like extra bits and pieces everywhere that I don't use as often. And that there is my magical traveling makeup case. Um, it's beautiful, I love it. But yeah, this is where the magic happens. Okay, so now you've seen my crazy, awesome setup, um, let's get into the makeup. Now, I'm going to try and make this a quicker one for you all, so, you know, you're not watching like a few billion hours of nothing. Okay, so, I'm a little bit sweaty because it's a little bit warmer this morning, so I'm just actually going to clean my face um, with some Marcella water. And actually just get off all that sweat and grease and grime and gross. I've had it off, but it's bloody warm. Well, I'm warm this morning anyway. Perfect. All right. Now, I was just... Oh my god, there goes my coffee. Okay, I'm literally going to cry this morning. <laughs> Let me pause this, clean this up. Ugh. Okay, let's clean it up. God help me. I'm such a clot. So I've just quickly finished it so I don't um, put it away, so I don't spill it again. <sighs> let's be zen today, Stacey. I have to actually like work today, an extra day, because it's the holidays and it is the last weekend before Christmas. Yeah, let that sink in, right? Okay, so I don't know whether to do something Christmassy or just do something bright and fun. I don't know, guys. I probably should have thought of this before I actually decided to do this video. As a little bit on the silly side, but that's okay. All right, so right, we won't use this palette. We might use some of this one. Which I've used before, but I may actually get out my Too Faced because the one that smells like chocolate. Because it smells like chocolate. <laughs> it has like a nice green. Um, so I might do like I might do like a full Christmassy eye. We will see. Oh, that's just a normal palette. All right. So, first off, let's just prime the eyeballs. Might bring it a little bit closer. Prime the eyes. So, like I've said before, you can use a proper eye primer, you can use a glitter primer, you can use um, a little bit of foundation, you can use some concealer, you can just use the palette the way it is. It is up to you, whatever works for you and your eye, depending on how crazy you want to go with this, will depend on. Yeah. what you use and how you use it. Okay, so now I want to be a little bit on the crazier side. Um, so I am 
I'm probably gonna go with this one. Woo! Magnetic. Kinetic. Awesome. All right. This is my smudge brush. Smudge brush. Gosh. Gosh. Alright, so I'm going to go in with a little bit of gold, I think. A little bit of gold first to do the very inner corners. I think I want to blend it all into like a Christmas. Christmas theme. Christmas theme! Fun! actually do today is just spray my cloth that I always have on the handle of my seat or the armrest of my seat okay then we're gonna go I think we'll go into green and then we'll go into red last so I may choose to brighten these colors we shall just see depends on how well they sit on the eye I guess now I'm doing a little part of the eye but what I'm actually going to do is going to go up into my cut crease. So the cut crease is where the crease of the eye like finishes. So there, there's my cut crease line. I'm actually going to go up into that and then we'll blend it all later. Gold, 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 gold. Yeah, it is the last, I can't believe it's the last weekend before Christmas. I feel like this year has just been insane. Insane in the membrane. Insane in the brain. Like, it's just been so crazy. I was, wow, I just can't believe. Like, the craziness that this year has, like, brought. Oh, it's just like I uh I don't know, like I don't know about you, I don't know how your year's been. I mean we've had sickness, we've had pain, we've had unfortunate deaths. Um what did come good out of it all is our beautiful, beautiful baby. Um, my nephew. Uh, he is the light at the end of the very disastrous tunnel, I can tell you that much. He is the most sweetest, most placid little fella, and I absolutely adore him. Um, and I'm just like so proud and like so full of love watching my sister be a mum. Like, she's a mum now. How crazy. Yeah. And she makes a good mum. She loves him. She loves him so much. And I think that is like, that in itself is so beautiful like so beautiful um in other news um one good thing to actually come out of the year as well is my other baby sister mel is officially a graduated veterinarian nurse so a big congrats yay it goes out to mel for completely finishing her course she is completely qualified um, and can now work anywhere with her qualification. Like, how cool is that? She is, and will be, a registered, qualified vet nurse. That is so cool. So if you need advice, just hit her up. I'm sure she won't mind. But yeah, that's pretty cool, hey. Um, so I mean, look, there, yes, it's been a shit of a year, but I also think that it has been also somewhat of a blessing, I think. Um, yes, it's been like shit. Honestly, yeah, it's been an absolute disaster, but it's also helped us as a family grow. Um, we've learned so much, you know. Um, 
and you know we've learned how to better take care of each other and all that kind of stuff which I think is you know also a good thing um, but yeah it's also been <laughs> to put it bluntly <laughs> I mean, I know everything's not going to be rainbows and daisies and all that kind of stuff. And life is going to be hard, but I just feel like it's one thing after the other. And we haven't had, like, an honest, decent break. Um, as a family, like, no one has had the chance to, like, fully relax and rewind and, you know, appreciate everything. We've all just kind of like kept going, um, but yeah, I don't know. And we'll keep going. We always will. We always do. It's just, it's just the type of family we are. So yeah, I'm doing crazy colours today. If you can't tell, <laughs> I kind of want to make that outer corner like more red though. I'm just going to go in with a bit of a darker colour just to make it a little bit more red. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm somewhat happy with it. I did want to keep this a quick one for you all, so that's what I'm going to try to do. So, you know prove that you can if you you know are determined you can do a lot of this like rather quickly um it honestly just depends on the, like time and how like well and how quickly you, you know you can get down a routine i can actually do it relatively quickly if i don't actually film um and edit and like stop and all that kind of stuff um I can actually do it like quite quickly um but yeah if i want to like stop and film and do it like perfectly it does take me a little, that a little bit longer but a good decent um like good decent solid look takes me about 45 minutes um and that is to like completely correct everything and you know, get it all perfect. Um, but generally, I, you know, if I do it a lot quicker, I can. It just depends on like the time I have in the morning. If I've got a lot more time, I can, I could sit here for hours and do it. Um, yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna prime. Now, my more problem areas are the under eye. Just because I do have a lot more creases and wrinkles in the under eye area. Now I think that's probably one due to lack of sleep and just the way that my face is made. So I always try and make sure that I put that little bit more product in the under eye area. Just to combat, you know, any like wrinkling and crinkling and all that kind of stuff in that area. And then once we prime, we can do concealer and we can do foundation. Now this morning I have actually used a mattifying um, makeup primer um, by Rimmel. There you go. So this one is Shine Controlling, Pore Minimizing, Hydrating Feel, Smooths the Skin, Don't Forget the Neck. So yeah. Alright, now that we have officially primed. We can go ahead and do our concealer. So I like to illuminate my eyes a lot. So I think I'm going to go in with light ivory this morning. And like really make my under eyes shine. 
So I generally will cover across and completely cover the under eye area and a little bit out towards where I put the eyeshadows. And I'm going to come down a bit. And that's mainly because I do look a wee bit on the tired side. A wee bit tired. And that's because I'm sleeping so terribly. But this constant change in the weather is just insane. So yeah. Okay, so. Just bring that down a bit. I also like to make my chin a little bit glowy. Okay, now I am going to do something a little bit different. I'm actually going to come in with some liquid strobing highlighter. Okay, now it's like an eyedropper. So I'm just going to put a little bit down here on my little mixing palette. Um, and I'm going to go in with just a little bit of a bit of a brush and we're just going to pop that where you would normally put your highlighter anyway. I'm just going to pop that a little bit and just come under the cheek. So then when we do the foundation, um, we've already set like an area for extra shiny, extra brightness. And the areas that I just love to go crazy with highlighter, which is around the frame of my face. <laughs> so, um, sometimes I really like to do this if I want to go like crazy, do a crazy look and make myself extra shiny. And I feel like today is that day. I feel like I want to be extra shiny. So I'm going to be. Okay, so we're just going to blend out some of this just a little bit, not too much. I always like to work with a dampish product. So today I'm actually just going to use my contour blend brush, which is actually quite a good one for um, applying foundations um, or concealers. So if you are looking for a good brush set, yes, the Napoleon Curtis No Distress brush set is amazing. I think it is it needs a few more um, brushes in it, but for the most part, it is a good set, especially if you are, you know, a beginner, you know, you're not as into some crazy looks like I am, but you want to start out with a set that is going to, you know, give you, you know, what you need out of a brush set and that is what that one will do so yes for the $99 the quality is good the packaging is amazing I do like the fact that you can hang them all upside down that comes in handy when you do wash them and condition them um, which you should do once a month um, I probably do it a little bit more frequently every two to three weeks just because of the amount I use mine but if you use yours a lot less than what I do um, and not as crazy with the products, um, you can just do it once a month. But yes, for the $99, I would recommend it actually. So yes, I'm going to say tick, Stacy tick of approval. It is a good product. And yes, I would recommend it. So if you would like to go and get yourself a good brush set, go ahead and get yourself the No Distress Morphe, not Morphe, God. Napoleon Purtis brush set. I've got more film on the brain because I can literally see it below me. Uh, yeah. Let me just grab. I'm just mixing up some foundation this morning. So I've been seeing the sun a little bit more. So I do have to change it up with my foundation. Um, especially for when I blend down the neck. Um, because a lot of my colour tends to change when I see the sun. So yeah, I generally have to mix it up. Perfect. Okay. Get some of the brush. And push on. So this one I'm using today is my National Academy of 
Beauty um, foundation. It is a long wear foundation. Um, I use it on pretty much all of my clients when I do their makeup um, because it has the least amount of chemicals in it. It doesn't react as much um, on people's faces. I have yet to have someone have a reaction to it. Um, it blends well. It sits nicely on the face. Um, it's not like crazily overpriced for what the product is. It is, to be honest, something, again, I would recommend. Um, I have heaps of it in stock for when I do faces. Um, occasionally, a couple of girlfriends will say, hey, can you get me some more foundation? And that is the foundation that I actually get for them because it's great for their skin. They actually really enjoy it. They get, I usually get them a what they call a trio pack. And in that trio pack, um, there are three shades of foundation and generally that is so good because like I said some of my girlfriends do fake tanning like I usually do when I'm a lot more um, pasty <laughs> or if I've got a special occasion um, it is perfect for them especially when you know your skin tone is constantly changing with the seasons Again, you may have been tan, they can, and I teach them, um, then go ahead and make their own skin color up. Um, and they don't have to stress about, you know, going and buying so many different shades of one foundation. Um, they can literally sit there and mix their own color, no matter what time of the year it is. So, um, yeah. Another good product I would recommend. Um, I'm as close as I can to my eye color. It's a lot harder with a brush, but I'm making it work. <sighs> no, I do tend to go a little bit heavier under the eye with my makeup, and then I'll blend it out. Um, but that's just because I like more. And then I also leave some um, down on my mixing palette for after I do my eyebrows, especially if I want to, to shape them a little better or if I make a mistake somewhere along the lines, I can go in and fix it and it's not going to be an issue. So for the powder today, I'm going to use my Maybelline Matte Maker Mattifying Powder, um, which is this. I'm going to come in with a kabuki brush, which is a big fat powder brush. And just yeah, go in and use this to set my foundation. Ow, oh, my dress. <laughs> I just like to put myself in the eye with it. Now this helps helps lock in your foundation. So you should always try and put a powder over the top, even if it's a translucent one, um, you know, in neutral colour, just to help lock in your foundation and stop it from moving throughout the day. And there we go. Nice and pretty. Okay, perfect. So next we will move on to the eyebrows. So let me just quickly go and blow my nose because this time of the year brings hay fever and I'm probably gonna sneeze everywhere and it's not all fiber. So be back in two seconds and we will do the rest of this. Okay, that's better. <laughs> I did sneeze everywhere. Ugh, hay fever is the worst. Okay, it doesn't help going from like, you know, all the different types of air conditioning and fan systems and everything in the world. Oh, it just stops with the system. So, as you all know, I really love my Morphe products and I really love my brow cream. So for a closer look of what it actually looks like, it is a very creamy consistency. So, eyebrow brush. I will go back 
to this one, which I used to use a lot, um, which is actually a liner one. It's a thinner product. I have been using the top of one of my other eyebrow creams, but I think I'll just use this one. My old trusty, trusty but dusty. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, so if you don't use an eyebrow cream, you can just go ahead and do whatever you like to do. But if you do an eyebrow cream, let's do it together. So depending on what type of look you are looking for with your eyebrows, me and my face love a bold brow. We do enjoy a bold brow. So yes, but yes. Um, just brush your hairs the way that they naturally go. Don't try to fight them or anything like that. They will win. They are very, very tricky fighters. Yeah. So. Firstly, I usually like to go in with a lighter hand, just so in case I do stuff it, um, I can go back and fix it, which I will have to here. That's okay. What I'm gonna do is Let's see. I ended up with a lot more product on there then. That's okay. We can fix it. See, we can actually spread and redraw the brow and then it doesn't make it easier to fill it in and then it's just going to be a pain in the butt to try and get them the same so yes i do sometimes get annoyed with my eyebrows i'm a normal human being i do sometimes get annoyed with them and then sometimes I don't know how I'm going to shape them either. So I will leave the very front of them for now. So the end kind of just drops off a little bit. I'm going to end a little bit further, but that's okay. Not every time you do your makeup is going to be perfect. Sometimes you are going to want to scream at it and get frustrated. Trust me, I completely understand. I am 100% the same. Like, sometimes I get so annoyed um, at my brows. They just frustrate the hell out of me. I don't want to chop them off. But your face would look pretty funny without eyebrows. I've seen proof. It's just like if you um, go ahead and give, uh, get pictures of sharks and you give them teeth. Like, but like, big goofy grinny teeth. <laughs> it makes them funny. Google that shit, it's funny. Alright, so we'll just do the front and try and keep them generally the same. Hopefully we can. We'll go a little bit further forward, same as this one. Because of where the like a random hairs end. I might just square them off a bit. I'm trying not to talk as much in this one because, or like chat as much in this one. Um, so, you know, there is a quicker video out there that you can like sit and watch and you don't have to be like late for anything or you don't get caught up watching maybe a goofball for hours. <laughs> I mean, if that's what you like, then hey, cool. Awesome. But. This just like helps people so, you know, they can do a quicker look. They don't have to, you know, think, oh crap, I need hours in a day to, you know, make time for my makeup. Because honestly, you don't. You can do quick looks. Well, quickish. I should do a makeup challenge one day and um, do it really quickly for you guys. 
see how quick I can do it. But I'll probably have to like put like music in the background so you don't get bored. Um, because I will like literally not have to talk and just do my makeup. That'd probably be a cool one to do actually. Yeah, see how fast I can do my makeup in the morning. Uh, that'd be an interesting one. I would like to say I could probably do it in 20 minutes. Hmm. Might put that challenge out there to myself. We shall see when a day that I've um, actually got time to be like crazy or something. I will sit down and do it. That'd be cool. Actually, yeah, I think I might do that. I will do a how quick can I do my makeup challenge. That'll be fun. Okay, so I'm semi happy with the way that I've coloured them in, but not okay. Not everything can work out 100% perfect when you do your makeup. Trust me. Sometimes it sucks. So I'm actually going to use my Napoleon Purtis Wonder Brow um, to come and set my eyebrows. The hairs of my eyebrows, I should say. Set them so they're not I'm going to fly all over the place today. Brush them in the way that they fall. There we go. And then I'm going to do a little bit of highlight under the actual eyebrow. Because I'm going bold with these babies today. Oh, yes, I am. And not every day I get it perfect, and sometimes I make mistakes, and I just have to clean that up, and I will. See, that's why I leave product there. To come in and fix where I make little mistakes. Perfect. Okay. So yeah, I'll probably do a little bit of highlighter under there, but what I do want to do is get a hold of my little little brush and just fix a few little things like the corners of my eyes and stuff so just fix in there where I put a bit of gold um, and a little bit has come away from where I cleaned my face so just whack that back in the inner corners And then, yeah, what I might do is then come in with some actual highlighter and go a little bit under the under eye, but I might go in with like a white. That may be the best bet. And because I had a little bit of yellow left on the brush. Is it that little bit of a yellowy tinge? But that's okay, I actually don't mind it. We go and go crazy with the highlight, yo. Oh yeah, I love highlight. Okay, so I've highlighted underneath the brows. So I will need that again, so I'm just gonna leave that there. All right, so we're gonna come in with my brush. We're gonna get a hold of some bronzer. Today I'm going to be using my Glam Bronze in Icon. Top of the eye, uh, top of the ear I should say. And then as you come down, you want less product. More product at the top, less product at the bottom. You can also come in with the lighter hand the further you go down. A little bit on the end of my nose. A little bit up in the tops of the hairline. Also wear a highlighter. Okay, then we're going to come in with a little bit of blush. Brush, 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 brush. Up all of the cheeks.
and you just like lightly sweep it into where your bronzer sits. Okay, and then we're gonna come in with the highlighter, baby. Yeah, we are. Now we do have a little bit of highlighter that is already underneath from where we did it before. But you know me, I like to highlight even more. Just because I'm like obsessed with highlighter. I just like to be shiny. Like a golden globe. Now, do in here because it thins out the face a little bit. I do on the tips of my nose, I do it in the kids' bow, and I do a little bit down here. I'm also just gonna sweep under the chin. Because honey, I need a glow. Glow. Alright. Now, eyes. Liner. I'm gonna do a liner. I think it's just gonna make the look a lot better with a little bit of liner. So, always st store your liquid liners upside down so the pen act part actually has more ink in it and it doesn't run out and become dry. Handy tip. Now, I tend to scrunch my toes when I do this just because it stops my hand from being shaky. And then Okay. Now I'm just going in with a really light pen this morning. Like a thinnish line. Because I feel like it doesn't need to be like crazy. It just needs that little bit of bump. Just to like finish it off. Just gives it that little bit of like texture, I suppose. Eyelashes. And I've just realized I have actually left my favorite mascara in my purse. Let me go get it. I'm such a tool. Okay, back again. So I always take some items in a little carry bag um, to work. So spare mascara, a bit of lip liner, a lip color. Sometimes I'll take like a powder, um, just if I need to like touch it up. So if I'm going to work and then I'm going out afterwards and I need to like touch it up quickly, um, I'll like take it all. I'm putting it in earrings, so I'm a bit more Christmassy. I'll be like a Christmas tree. So I've been changing up my jewelry a lot lately, so wearing a lot more jewelry. Um, my staples are my Pandora, my watch, my necklace, this ring, this one I haven't worn in a very long time, but I have chubby hands now, so I can. Um, and I tend to wear a lot more different earrings now. Just cause like, why not? Stop it. Okay, so, mascara. Essence Cosmetics, totally when I was in Priceline like yesterday, um, I quickly had to go in and grab some hairspray because I forgot it the other day um, and like most of their products sold out because one the price and two the quality for the price this cost me six dollars yeah six dollars um, and I had my Priceline club card with me which had five dollars on it so the chick was like oh do you want to use your five dollar like money on there and I was like yeah why not so I paid a dollar let that sink in and I actually really enjoy this as a mascara. It is so good. So good. So yeah, I hope you are all ready and everything for Christmas. Um, I hope you are all, you know, looking forward to spending it with your family and your friends and, you know, gonna be filled full of 
turkey? Is it turkey that you eat on Christmas? Or roast? Or chicken? Or whatever. I hope you are all, you know, ready for the holiday season, I suppose. I tend to just see my immediate family, so my parents and my siblings. Um, sometimes I will see a grandparent. Um, but nine times out of ten, I just see my immediate family and spend time with them as it's my only day off in the freaking year. Um, that as a family, we get to spend time together. Um, but yeah, it's just, um, yeah, the perks of retail, right? Um, I am actually hoping to cut down, um, the amount of hours I do, um, and I'm hoping to do more makeup, um, you know, and then have that, and then still probably work for Clackrama a little bit, um, but yeah, back off my hours a lot more, um, and just start doing my more of what I love. Like, yes, I like my job at Clackrama, been there for eight Christmases, but almost eight years. Um, you know, I've been there for seven and a half years, and like Mel will be moving on soon now that she's a vet nurse. Um, you know, we to be honest, I'm actually surprised we stayed there for as long as we did, but I think we really enjoyed what we were doing. Um, you know, and we I like to say we outlived, um, we outlived a lot of the stuff that have come in, um, come through the doors thought that, you know, they could, I don't know, kind of manipulate the situation, um, you know, to get what they wanted. I hate to break it to you, but mm -mm. no, no. So, yeah. <coughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Big changes in 2020. Big changes. And yeah, I'm hoping, I don't know, I might see, I would like I to actually, just for a little while, uh, to see what it's like. Um, I'd actually probably like to work for Mecca, um, but the Joondalup one here in Perth, as it's my favourite Mecca. Um, yeah, I kind of just want to see, you know, the type of environment because it is a very female dominant industry, really, when you think about it, it is dominated by females. Um, so yeah, it'd be interesting to see what it's like working with like that amount of women um, in the one shot. Um, but yeah, I suppose, like, their techniques, like, see how many of them are actual, like, fully qualified makeup artists, or whether they're, you know, working on filming something else and it's just, like, a job, you know, see if they actually have a passion for it or if it's just something they do. I don't know, I'm always curious. Curious George. <laughs> so yeah. I suppose we shall see what the new year holds, eh? come off, you get a clean q-tip, they just brush off. Finishing spray. And 
we are ready to rock and roll. So I hope you liked today's video. Let me know in the comments down below if you did. Let me know if you want to see anything more crazy. You want me to get out there and do something more wild. Um, yeah, don't forget to like comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you are notified ASAP when I've uploaded new content. Other than that, have a good day, and I shall see you in my next one, which will hopefully be daily for the next couple of days after Christmas. We shall see. Have a good day, guys.